the final track that we're going to review today on the first ever Mean Opinion is Band Aid 30. Um, there's been it's got to be done. at least three beforehand. Um, they've come back. There's a problem in West Africa. It's called Ebola. It's a very sad problem. It's a terrible problem. They um, cause, yeah, it's terrible. It's been going on for a long time, and there's been countless money-raising schemes to try and help fix it. But what it needed was Bob Geldof to come along and go, you know what, I made a song 30 years ago, which is perfect to this. So let's have a listen, and then uh, we'll give you the opinion, uh, if you can guess what it might be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a band aid. They've done, they've done so many versions of this bloody song now. Uh, it, to four? Four. They've got the state, state water house, whatever, the 80s. <laughs> the steak <laughs> water house? That sounds like a restaurant. No, uh, Stone Lake and Water House, whatever they were called. Uh, Waterman. Waterman? Yes, there you Waterman, go. Yeah. yes. They, Waterman. they did a good, they did Famous possibly. train hobbyist. Possibly the best version. No, for me, the, <laughs> the, the honest truth of it is, and it's the sad truth of it all, and despite the terrible subject it's about, is. It re- makes me realise that today's artists all sound the <laughs> same. You know, the first five singers are all today's modern artists, aren't they? Yeah, I don't yeah. even know them, I'm old, whatever, but they all sound <laughs> the f- same. They've all got the same vocals. They've got, there's no difference. That's auto-tune. Like, that's, that's the uh, way it it's is. the sad truth of it all, you know. And, you know, you, can, you can't tell the difference between them. They all sound exactly the same. They all feel like they've been dripped off of Simon Cowell's bloody tissues, you know. They're just literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> it's Kleenex <laughs> supply. How does that work? I was going to say nibbles, but I thought that was a bit much. Because what... <laughs> Nipples and Kleenex, they're, they're not the same thing. You don't uh, suckle on a Kleenex. You might wipe afterwards. That's well, you do, yeah, they, they come after each other. Anyway, so, it's Simon Cowell's teat mm. they've been suckling on. Simon Cowell has decided what a singer should sound like, and the rest of the f***ing UK, you lot out there, are listening to this shit and voting for it, X Factor, saying, oh, I like that one because he sounds the same as the other one. Where's the original singers now? You know, where's the Joe Strummers of this world? Where's the... I'm obviously going to mention The Clash for those that know me. <laughs> but, you know, where are the people with original vocals? And the only people, you know, that actually have got a decent voice are people like Coldplay when they come in. And, you know, I know his voice. It's a bit different, a bit weird. I don't like Coldplay. Do you need to do this again when there's so many other charities... Out there the way he beat up that other girl, that other modern singer, that um, Adele. Sorry, he was... beat her up. <laughs> oh, he did. That's a bit of a strong statement to make. <laughs> you got on my song. <laughs> take, take that. Uh, What's her name? Retract that. The uh, South Londoner. Adele. Yeah. Adele. He didn't yeah, beat Adele. her up. No, but what, he no. didn't beat her up. Right. <laughs> the original Band Aid, you know, it was a shit song, but it had, you know, it showed that there was a lot of good artists out at the time. There was a good cause behind it. It was, a, you know, it was a real feeling at the time in the eighties. And now, it's just gash, and it's literally. <laughs> Absolute trollop. It's just an excuse for people to go and do that on an headset, sell a record for Christmas. Okay, you're at a Christmas party. Yeah. And you're, you've are you had a few snowballs. You're a little bit. Yeah, I've had a nice time. Yeah. You're having a lovely time. It's about nine o'clock and you're thinking, oh, I've got to go to bed in about half an hour. So I want to oh, do one Christmas song. And that one Christmas song is Band Aid. Mm. You waddle up to the D, uh, the DJ and you're like, all right, mate, uh, I want to hear Band Aid. That is that DJ, your impression of me? Yeah, that's, that's my impression of you. Yeah. That DJ is not going to go. Is that the uh, the original, the uh, Band Aid Twenty, the Band Aid Thirty, or the uh, Stock Eight? Let's think about the last. Which like, one do you want? Which uh, I've got some Band Aids. I got some Band Aids for you. What, what kind of Band Aids you want? Uh, no, he's going to just play the f- original. Yeah, he's going to put cultural. He's going to have Boy George in there. Yeah. He's going to have Wham in there. They're going to have a f- awesome time. Paul Simon, bless him. He Paul Simon was in that. Oh, not Paul Simon. F- me. Was he? What? <laughs> he's busy <laughs> there. What's the eighties singer that's got a name? The eighties like? singer that's got a <laughs> name like Paul Simon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't Phil remember. Collins? No, no, he plays the drums in it actually. He does, he, he does. does. He ruined Led Zeppelin's career. I can't career remember, so forget that. Yeah, forget so. that. Anyway, so there you go. That's it. Band Aid 30. Uh, uh, no, just donate to the Ebola crisis through deck or something. Rather we put that up on there. Yeah, donate there. It's not our charity, but we, we thoroughly endorse this message. Um, so that's it there you go Mean Opinion episode 1 done if you want to get in contact with the show if you want our opinion on anything uh, at Mean Opinion on Twitter or facebook.com forward slash Mean Opinion and for those of you watching on YouTube there's a subscribe button there bye laters